Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Rashi Dharma coming online on social media, Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms. Instagram. Instagram. Um, YouTube, Instagram, Google. And other social media platforms. And I am Rashi Dharma coming on live, like I said. And I'm glad you guys are here. We're going to hang out for a little while, guys, and then I got to be off. I have things I got to do. I just came to spend time with my buddies, man, on a Friday night. It was Friday. Okay. I came to hang out with you guys for a while. I'm chewing some gum. I got no shirt on. Half naked. And, um, I'm trying to see what time it is here. So, Mm -hmm. All right, all right, guys. Um, so how y'all doing, man? I just had to look at something. Nice. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, uh, I really like coming on the air. I'm a broadcaster. Y'all know that. And. Being a broadcaster, I take pride in happiness of the freedom that I have. That I can be able to express myself on the air and have you guys listen in. And that's, that means so much to me. You know, that means so much to me. But another part of that is having people that don't like you. And they signify and they in videos. They turn this down. And um, they um, they signify, you know, they they just you can see they hate you for no reason and shit. I never had haters like, well, yes, I did, that's it. But on social media, you'll think um, it's very less of it because I don't know. You got a platform of people trying to be somebody, and so people are somebody, and still they just um. Let's start trouble with you, you know. But you ain't gonna hear me fight. No, you won't. You won't hear me fight back. No, not like that. You know, I don't. I don't really play games like somebody say something and then I come back and you know I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't got time for that. This ain't a schoolyard. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a schoolyard on social media, but I deal with the shit, you know. For no reason. I'm just a fucking YouTuber, you know what I'm saying, guys? I don't give a fuck about it, man. Like I said, I'm about to say something, but that's okay. I ain't gonna be vulgar. But y'all get what I'm saying. And I'm gonna thank you guys for hanging in there with me. My Rashid Katiris. I got some good treats for us. I'm working on this animation show that's going to be this weekend. Hopefully it'll be this weekend. I thought it'll be um this weekend right here. Or should I say next weekend? Next week, next week. So it's like I really thought it was gonna be now. But here's the deal. I have to do food shop. <laughs> but I'm a i am swear y'all I'm gonna get it done before next weekend, get it out the way so we can watch some um this animation show coming up. The first show in world premiere world premiere guys of um unrepented um generation unrepented it's the it's the world premiere so i'm really excited about that you know, it's a good show it's a good show we got the rashi and jan show coming up but i also have um i have uh well you'll see You'll see. Let me just say. I ain't gonna spring nothing on you don't tell you in advance. I'm not gonna do that, guys. I'm really not. Okay? So, you know, I'm just sitting back and just watching some tools. And, you know, I thought I'd come on the air and um, hang out. If my audio start acting up and I start sounding slurry and blurry, please forgive me, guys. I gotta 
I, I put my computer in the shop and I just got it out and I gotta adjust some things on it so sometimes it it acts up. So before we even get started, if y'all hear me warping out and all of that in my voice, please forgive me again. Alright? Cause that shit is um fuck it, it gets to me. It really I ain't got time to be fucking with no goddamn fucking gigabyte bullshit. I ain't got time for none of this bullshit. I don't need this shit in my fucking life. I don't need none of this shit in my fucking life. Because I'm sick and tired of this fucking bullshit. Man, fuck you, man. I some fucking stump stupid ass shit. some fucking problems and shit become above the head of the earth and you gotta stop your shit and just in these this infantile shit bullshit and computer troubles is a pain in the air going in them damn shops and them motherfuckers looking at you all weird cause they seeing pictures you got on there and shit they peeping all at you and shit all this fucking money damn business to fix your damn computer no what I was on my fucking shit you dumb bastard, just fix this shit. And you gotta deal with all this bullshit. You know I'm a nasty motherfucker, so what? Just fix my fucking computer. Nobody asked you to be Barbara fucking Waters. Shit. I don't need this bullshit. So after I finish getting embarrassed, because that's all it is for me getting my computer fixed. I ain't getting my computer fixed. You might as well say, I'm about to say, guys, I got to go get embarrassed and shit. I bring it home and fix it up. Now it's, it's just, it's all right and everything. It's just, I got to adjust. I ain't got time for all that. Where are they? Man, I ain't going to do shit. Do what I tell you to do. If I tell you to fix my, don't worry about what the fuck on it. You ain't one of them punk asses on late night, so don't worry about what's on it. Just do your, fix my damn computer. Somebody asked you to be digging any goddamn way. Stupid ass shit. So anyway, I ain't even gonna start that cursing and the farming of the mouth. I ain't even gonna start doing that. I'm gonna talk to y'all normal, dude. I'm sitting here smoking. I drunk this huge. I didn't know that um, Red Bull comes in different sizes. I didn't know that. Okay, y'all got me a huge fucking can. God damn, I love that shit, man. Mm. I mean, it really, they really helped, man. I, they told me to try some other shit, too, but I just never got around to it. I just stuck to the Red Bull shit. I just, cause, I guess because it's well known. So. So. So, I'm right, man. I'm trying to think for a second. Oh, I got to show tomorrow, guys. I got to show tomorrow. And um, it's about the weird the move, um, happenings around. And I, you know, stories I found around the internet. It's like that. So you guys really should love it. So be here tomorrow or Sunday. It'll probably be up Sunday. Or, let me see. It'll probably be up Sunday. Probably be up Sunday. Yeah, most likely. Let's see. Um, I'm on some beer, y'all. I swear to God. I, I mean, I gotta get to that damn store and get some damn beer. I want some beer so fucking bad. Uh, 
And my girl, she says, be careful when you get it, because I'll drink it like soda. Especially if it's cold. And I won't pay attention to his malt liquor. I'm going to get pale. So, I was told I'll be careful when I get this thing. And I'm going to get me some beer. I swear to God, y'all going to turn around and I'm going to say, got it. Y'all yeah, don't know what time it is. Dude. Watch my sheet for tears. I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some beer. I'm going to get some beer. Nice and cold. Shit. Nice and cold. Don't get the wrong idea. I like what light beer. I like light beer. I drink light beer. I just want you know, I drink, I, I didn't say, I, but I don't, I wouldn't, if, in choice, my choice, I wouldn't drink light beer because it's too, it's too water. I don't fuck around that pits. I drink the, the good, the heavy fucking shit. But I never say I like light beer, man. I drank a light beer before. I just, light beer can't, you don't do it for me. I like my beer looking yellow as the like a fucking uh, banana, like a goddamn yellow, like one of those strange fruits I can't pronounce. It's in fucking um, war-torn countries and shit, third countries they eat those fruits with the. It looks like some damn fat banana. Well, I don't know those damn countries. I don't know what they are. You know what the kind of fruits they eat and shit. The only animals eat over here and so and they, and they eat. It. It's like a banana, but it's, it's really like a pumpkin, like, it's real yellow. I want my beer to be that color. I don't know what kind of food it is. I don't really eat it over there. I probably eat it over here, too. Fucking AP, any goddamn thing. So, I just don't know the, the name of the goddamn country. You guys, it ain't funny. Yeah, it's the truth. I don't know the name of these countries. I'm trying to be their friend, most of them. Well, the ones I'm cool with, I know they are, yeah. The rest of them act like I'm fucking, like, the, the crypt and shit. That fucking dog from even the dead fucking thing. Scared the fuck out of me. They scared, I don't know what kind of cussings they have over that fucking shit. Like, they're trying to convince, they don't know what friendship is and shit. They don't know, like... These other races don't understand friendship and shit. What the fuck is going on here? Do they acting like I'm that crip motherfucker? What the fuck I can do? Start a war or some shit? The hell? Is, oh, it's America. Dude, can't you see I'm not like one of these motherfuckers? What's wrong with you? I, I don't get it. They ain't got no brand. I mean, I don't understand it. Can't you see I'm not like them? You can't see that? You don't need to fucking talk to me. You one... Man, you a, man, you a they can't see, they can't see I'm not like all these motherfuckers. They can't see that, they don't need to talk to me. They don't need it, because they ain't right. They ain't got common sense. They go ahead on they, they brick ass houses and shit and do they fucking thing and don't worry about me. And that's what you do. I'm trying to open up now, but they you know what I'm talking about. Crap the cracked up wall motherfuckers and they have cracked up walls and shit. I'm trying to be happy friends with them. They ain't gotta treat me like that. Blue cracked up fucking walls and shit. Hating some fucking body. What the hell is wrong with these motherfuckers? What the hell can I do to them? I don't understand it. I don't understand it, man. Your whole house half blue and half orange and half yellow cracked up walls and you hating some fucking body. You fucking loser. Man. I'm trying to be your damn friend. I'm like a damn about your goats and shit. I ain't trying to, you know, you piss me off. They got nothing to be holding their nose up at me. War torn country ass motherfuckers. <coughs> <coughs> Americans don't give a fuck about me. Can't you see that? You can't see that? Then stop treating me like a fucking goat. And in your back fucking yard. And stop acting stupid. Walking away and a bunch of rats, roaches following your dumb ass. That's all I fucking see. So you ain't holding your nose up at me. 
Come on, you fuck about your brain weird in my ass. The bow on the carpet and kiss my ass. Don't I give a fuck about you? I'm trying to be your damn friend. You can't get friends in this world. Everybody laughing in your face ain't your friend. Can't you see that? Where you living at? You can't see that? Something wrong with you. Just because they wear Muslim and shit or Indian shit, they your friend. Keep believing that stupid shit. Wear some jeans and you'll see how much friend and fuck they are to you. Wear some jeans and shit. And take off that shit in your head. Take it off for one day and watch your friends. Yeah, turn you the fuck in. Yeah, turn your Muslim ass right the fuck in. Don't talk. Don't come around here trying to... No, it ain't because I'm smoking, sweetie. I'm talking this shit. I'm talking this shit. Yeah, it ain't because I'm smoking nothing. They got to do it. I smoke and that's it. Ain't because I'm smoking, I'm talking this shit. I mean this shit I'm talking about here. And these, these Muslim motherfuckers here I'm talking about dressing. They're scared of every fucking thing, but yet they're you scared of a fucking book. And you breaking every fucking law in it. Well, wait till Allah come and see how you be scared of his fucking ass. Right? She ain't got shit on him. Wait till he come and take over shit. See what your ass do now. Scared Muslim man, Indian. Motherfucker, wait till Allah get here. And then we see you fucking step right. She ain't gonna have shit. You know what the fuck I am. I'm gonna be a piece of fly in a starving child's eyeball and compared to Allah when he get here. So you get ready to get scared of that. And don't worry about getting scared of me. Hypocritical motherfuckers make me sick. Eat your rice and shut the hell up. Nobody asked you to be scared of me. Acting stupid. I'm trying to be a damn friend. Muslim man's motherfuckers make me sick. I'm trying to be a damn friend, man. You never heard of that? Jewish people understand it. They understand it well. I'm saving them. Cause that's, that's the good shit. That's Jewish people, the good shit. I'm saving that. Like that fucking rest is, Like that record and shit. Save the best for last. Save the dog must not. That Jew ass ain't going no fucking way, man. You Jews ain't going no fucking way. I'm saving that. That's too good. You don't, you don't tip, you don't tip, you don't, you don't, you don't put your finger in cake when it's bacon, dude. You don't do no shit like that. But a stupid ass, uh, housemaid who don't know shit. She'll do it. I won't, would you put your finger in bacon, in, um, in the cake if it's... I wouldn't, you know. But that's Jews and shit. I don't, they, they ain't ready yet. They ain't ready yet. That's the good shit. They ain't ready. But I'm reaching out to these other war torn, half building ass living motherfuckers, and they acting scared of me. How you gonna be scared of me? You got a crate holding up your building. How does that work? How you gonna be scared of me? You got the laundry hanging on the lawn outside, and there's dirt flying all over the place. How the fuck does fear run into that shit right there? Don't you think you need to pay attention to shit like that before you be scared of me? When it's flying around outside, you don't hang your laundry out in the open, okay? National Geographic full of shit. So when they come around and smile in your damn face, don't think everything look beautiful. Worry about shit like that instead of being scared of me. How about that? National Geographic full of shit. Because when they invade your fucking land with cameras, y'all think you're on a Hollywood red carpet. And they'll make you think your underwear next to a pig shit is, is entertaining, is the way to go. When all the time you're ready to get clap disease and some motherfucking uh, mutated shit that you they're gonna put, they're gonna come right back in the next year and take a picture of you and say, look at the disease. That's all the fuck the, the National Geographic gonna do. That's all they keep you guys for. So stop being scared of me. Worry about shit like that. What about that? What about that? What about that quick Curious George motherfucker and the dressed in yellow? When you read Curious George, that white motherfucker in yellow, worry about him coming to your country and taking pictures of your crippled, diseased asses, the fuck flies all in your fucking food. Worry about that. Don't worry about being scared of me because I'm American bullshit. There's other things to be worried about. Worry about Curious George invading your country, taking pictures. And then putting the shit in National Geographic, which nobody read no more. 
unless they see this shit online. So just lose the bullshit. So don't be scared of me. And stop acting stupid. That's all I got to say. Because I'm sick and tired of dealing with these fucking eyeballs looking at me. And I'm getting tired of this shit. Because it's starting to look like a cartoon around my fucking station. And I don't like this, this shit here. I ain't no Sunday morning cartoon. I am an after school cartoon. It's a difference. Alright, if you came from America, it's a difference. I'm not a Sunday morning cartoon. I am an after school and Saturday morning cartoon. That's who we are. Alright, we're not sad. We're not Sunday morning cartoons. Stop treating me like a Sunday morning cartoon. When you come home from school and turn on TV, said so when we had the shit, I was one of those cartoons like that. You see. Then it's a kind you turn on Sunday morning and shit, and it's that fucking gleep bullshit, that fucking glob bullshit running around, uh, killing, helping barbarians and shit. Like, don't treat me like that fucking shit. Stop looking at me like them fucking gleek and a mother, daughter and father, daughter, son, and them, the schmoo looking motherfucker, big eyes and Sunday morning bullshit. Stop looking at me when I come and do my shit on my RT. Don't look at me with the eyeballs thing. Now, fucking me, I grew up in the projects and niggas do the eyeball fucking shit. I'm not gonna go through that shit again. As you see, every, all my shit different. And y'all motherfuckers stop laughing. Cause you know what I'm talking about. All my shit I hook up different. Because I'm getting away from that project bullshit. Don't come around here with them eyeballs. I swear to fucking God. All I'm seeing is these different Indian eyeballs all around this motherfucker. And everybody's scared. And don't do that shit. And don't be... Listen to me, Sandman. Listen to me, Sam. The Sam people in Star Wars and shit. They got Sam people in Star Wars. They need to stop that shit. Because around RVT is the real Sam motherfuckers. Fuck that Sandman on Star Wars bullshit. Don't come out here with these Sam man eyes looking at me and shit. I'm scared. Don't do that shit. If you if you if you come around here, you're gonna be cool with Rashid. Don't come out here and be scared of me. I'm not curious George White man in yellow uniform, taking pictures, putting in the National Grid graphic, and I'm not the the um that fucking mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom. So don't look at me like that. And stop being scared. If you're gonna be scared, take this shit somewhere else. Alright? I just had to get that shit off my chat. Muslim motherfuckers around here thinking they got friends and shit. They goofed up together. Put on some jeans and we so much friends you fucking got. When they all of a sudden they, they tie your ass, great brick your ass. So stop being scared of me. Be scared of shit like that. And stop and stop acting stupid. All you gotta do is wear some jeans. We see how much fucking friends you got. So get out my damn face. Talking that shit. That's all you got to do is put on some jeans. You'll see how much fucking friends you got in the world. All of a sudden, you Charlie fucking Brown now. Looking stupid. You might as well get a dog because you ain't. They change your ass to Charlie Brown. You never got no friends no more because you have sinned the unforgivable sin of Muslims or some shit. Can't even wear fucking jeans and shit like that. Don't bring that shit around here. And stop being scared of me. I mean it. I'm not, I don't like people scared of me like that. The people you want scared of you never be scared of you. The people you don't want to be scared of you are scared of you. Like them fuckers over Fox News and all them punk ass motherfuckers in late night. Because see, these guys here want me to fuck Hillary Duff for some reason. But I ain't going to, you know, I don't know what they talking about. For some reason they want me to fuck Hillary Duff. And I think... Oh, God. Why do they want me to fuck this? Why? I don't understand it. That some people, they do, these fat Hollywood rich people want me to fuck certain celebrities. And they want to watch. They want to, They want me to fuck Hillary Duff. I ain't lying. I ain't lying to y'all, dude. They want me to fuck her, dude. They want me to fuck Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff. They want me to fuck her, dude. Well, putting a pussy in my face ain't going to let you get y'all wish. Didn't you see Pinocchio? Y'all rich motherfuckers, I know you listening. Didn't you see Pinocchio? Putting a pussy in my face ain't gonna do shit. Pinocchio ain't get shit. You can't follow Pinocchio. You gotta do shit. You gotta get off your fat ass and do shit. You want me to have sex with Hillary Duff, dude? This guy is, man, you guys are fucking sick ass rich motherfuckers. 
They know they know what I'm fucking talking about. They listening. They know just what I'm talking about. Putting that shit in the news. They know what they saying and doing. They freaks. They want me to fuck Hillary Duff. They want to see that shit. <laughs> Y'all want me to fuck Lizzie McGuire. These guys are fucking idiots. I got better people y'all like to see me fuck, but I ain't saying it because it's against the law. So stop um, fucking with my manhood with Hillary Duff. Stop fucking with my manhood. She dropping niggas off like flies. There's nobody can stick with her ass. I keep telling them that. You ain't, they ain't going to stay with that pussy for long. No, nah, Hillary, Hillary, don't play the Hillary is Hillary. She ain't, I, I, I told y'all, she ain't, they don't man stand. I ain't even gonna get in her business. I ain't, yeah, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even seen that. The next sucker to be with her, I'ma just laugh. She probably getting fucking a trainer or whatever, but that's all he get, he ain't getting shit either. She ain't giving her ass up, no fucking, look stupid. Like I said, they know not to put me on the Hollywood red carpet. They know that shit like Moses knew the Ten Commandments when he came down out there fucked up ass mountain. They know not, not to put me on a red carpet. They'll be the they'll be like they'll be like the Tower Inferno movie recreated in uh, HD and IMAX theater if they put me on the Hollywood carpet. You they might as well no. I'm gonna tell you if they put me on the Hollywood red carpet, they might as well redo. The Tower of Inferno, Earthquake from the 70s, that movie Earthquake, Cabana 2, and put the shit in IMAX in 3D. If they put me just on the Hollywood red carpet, they might as well do that. It's, a, it's the equivalency, it's the same of what you experience. The equivalency is the same. I'm not laughing, I'm being serious. The equivalency is the same. They might as well, but the motherfuckers know not to do that. See, they know. They smart. Everybody's seeing. Nobody's stupid. Everybody see what's going on. These some smart motherfuckers. A bunch of Einstein. A bunch of fucking Hollywood. Holly, a bunch of professors. The needs to be. And Yale. Dale. Whatever the fuck their college is. They need to be teaching in that. Fuck the industry. Fuck Hollywood. They need to teach that. That's how smart they are. And everybody see. Nobody's stupid. I said it. They some smart son of a bitches, dude. This is going out beautifully. I want everybody to leave me the fuck alone. This is going to end. They some smart motherfuckers, dude. Just like a little chick coming out of her egg. They smart. They are very intelligent. Very intelligent. Everybody commending them. They don't give them. They keep it up. They don't give them a, um, a Nobel Peace Prize. They gon' the, the people in Hollywood industry all gonna get a Nobel Peace Prize. I'm not laughing. They doing a tremendously good job. Leaving me the fuck alone. They doing a chum. They gonna get fuck around and get them a Nobel Peace Prize. That's how smart they are. And everybody see, everybody looking. They know damn well why she ain't going up in that fucking shit. They know damn well I be a Tasmanian devil, dude. I fucking swear to God. A lot of asses houses. I wanna bang on so. You got access to people's phone numbers when you're a celebrity? Shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. When you're a Hollywood celebrity, you actually got access, has access to other celebrities' phone numbers? Oh, shit, man. They don't have to put me up on that motherfucking thing. I'm like a whole country motherfucker from the South. They know. Now, Bubba, they know not to put me up on that motherfucking thing. <laughs> shit, they know that fucking shit. <laughs> now, now, come in now, Leroy. You know they put me in that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy as donkey shit. Ain't nobody controlling me, dude. <sighs> you know what I mean? So, they ain't gonna put me in that fucking thing, dude. Damn, take it. Yeah, man, so...
They know better than their fucking dumb. I try to get, um... I try to get with a lot of celebrities. Celebrities ain't talking, even say a fucking... Man, fuck these celebrities, dude. Fuck these celebrities, dude. <laughs> I can have any phone number celebrity I want. Any phone number? Mm. That's deadly. That's deadly ass shit. That's some deadly ass shit. Calling me. I ain't call they fucking shit up. What you doing? Who's this? This Rashid. You know it's gonna be a reaction right there. Shit. Right there, right away, it's gonna be a reaction. You hope they ain't gonna know. You know when I say my name. Who is this? This is Rashid. The guy who just won the Academy Award? I'll be like, that. I still, damn right. Come out and tell the truth about it. I be like the guy that just won Academy Award. In fact, two. They be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah, hey, hey, where you at? Excuse me, where you at? What you mean where I'm at? Where are you at? Where you at? Are you far from? Um, wait, wait a minute, let me look out my window. Are you far from Sunset? Some shit, Bubbly Hill Sunset. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I got a tracker right here. I'm on my way over to just say hi to you. Um, okay, take care. And I hang right the fuck up in the end. And I'm going to go right over they fucking shit. If, that's if I like them. If I like them. Some of these celebrities, they, they can forget about it. But go ahead and get out my fucking face. They know where they are. Some celebrities. Hold on for a minute. My microphone fucked up. Oh. Okay. These celebrities know. They know, dude, what I must have They know. <laughs> I ain't got no damn sense. Never forget that in the world today, Whatever nation you in, you want to call it a, na a nation or shit. You want to, you want to have pride where you live at. So if you want to call that where you at a nation. I don't know. I never heard saw a nation like that before. But <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I feel like my face is melting off my goddamn. Who is that girl, um, where's Lindsay Lohan at? Where is she at? Why won't Fox answer me? I don't know why y'all listening. This is a bunch of bullshit. I don't even know why y'all even wasting time listening to this shit. I did something on, some, on the screen for you guys. You know, you know, what the fuck? What you want from me? Where's Lindsay fucking Lohan and Why they ain't talking about her? I ain't going to Daily Mail because they Daily Mail's... They still doing a circus thing. I ain't doing that. I got my own circus. I don't need that shit. They want to post with bitches taking being a flamingo and shit in my, my fucking, in my fucking face. I don't want to look at no celebrities being flamingos in my goddamn face, dude. I'm looking for celebrities who want to do something. And that's what Daily Mail will put flamingo bitches in my face. I don't want to look at them much. And that's why I'm not going in there. But Disney knew that. Disney knew that. I thought Disney ain't deal. Disney, Disney ain't deal with didn't deal with no fucking body. If you did, you don't know about it. And then that fool of cello is with me. And life is beautiful. I gotta shave. Look, I gotta. I'm going to five o'clock. Why do they call it a five o'clock channel or shit like that? See, shit like that. I, oh, because your bed is like a shadow and it's five o'clock. You see it when you finish working. That's why, probably. I don't follow stuff like that. Because there's man stuff in it. 
Man full of shit. Every time he start thinking Michael Jordan or somebody. That's when I knew he was shit. So I ain't really listening to his stiff ass. I ain't got a black man jumping in the air or some fucking shit. That's what they did in this country. I'll never forget it. I'll never fucking... A black man jumping in the air with a basketball is the most exciting thing black people can do. Shit like that, man. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. And that's that Michael Jordan motherfucker. And I'll never ever forget what happened in this country. This shit ain't funny, dude. I'm fun of projects. I saw what he could do. And they had him on that fucking shit like he was the shit because he could jump in the fucking air with a ball in his hand. And I ain't never gonna forget it. I ain't gonna never forget that time period. So I'm not, so whatever I said about the man thing, no. I don't listen to they fucking shit, five o'clock shadows and shit they say. I don't listen to that. They brain is, they brain is that fucking uh, comic book sewer motherfucker. Is, that's that garbage motherfucker. Who is he? His face, the incredible melting nigga. Whatever the fuck he. He's sewer or something. He's a trash guy. This is brain shit. So, the fucking, um, hailing niggas up like they somebody or shit, man. Take that shit to the BET Awards and get that get out my fucking face, man. So I ain't doing it. I've been doing it since I was a child. I ain't doing it a fucking more. How you like the job? Huh, because I ain't doing it. Michael Jordan, man, this motherfucking dumbass shit. They had to really make a movie about him and Bugs Bunny. She call it Space Jam. Stupid ass. Idiotic fucking. Hey, yo! Get off of my man! Hey, hey, you, you get off of my man! Hey, hey, you, you get off of fucking guy! That's really that bullshit. And I'm not going to put up with... Hey, fucking you! Get off of fucking guy! Check this out, man. Check this out. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about us, y'all. I swear to God. <laughs> like, why y'all don't just click me off right now? Y'all see I'm wasting your time. <laughs> y'all can see I'm wasting your time. The show is tomorrow, guys. Y'all got to come around here tomorrow. I have some shit for us to talk about. Wait, y'all just, don't just throw something on the air, man. Y'all sit back and listen to this. Bullshit, I don't believe it. I don't fucking do I don't understand it, sweetie. I don't understand it. You don't know, listen to this stupid shit I'm talking about. I'm talking about shit. Oh, I'm talking about. What am I talking about? I'm talking about when I first saw Hillary Clinton. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, fucking me. Get off of fucking back. Hey, hey, fuck up. Get the motherfucker. But. I swear to God, man, so... Where's Lindsay Lohan at? Where's Drew Barrymore at? Where is... Okay, thinking about it. <laughs> I'm about to say, where's Blossom at? I know where she at. I don't believe me. I'm, I'm checking her out. She, 
Blasa, da, I know it, uh. <laughs> I know it's Blas, man. No doubt about it. I know it's uh, that Simpson bitch at. I ain't even fucking with that. I ain't climbing up that tree again. Fuck that. No way, dude. I know, um, uh, I mean, yeah. I know where, um, huh. Uh, I can't really think, I can't, I can't, I don't know, I can't really think. Hey, hey, you, get the motherfuck, get that. Hello. Now they're fuck about it, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna talk about some serious now. Why they don't give a fuck about us, dude? I'm gonna talk about some serious, you know. Guys, now listen. This is Rashid talking. Don't play with my manhood right now. Why don't they give a fuck about us? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why, dude. And when I tell you this story right here, you better fucking listen. You rag, dirt walking on a, you, this, this, this is what I'm saying, this, I, I'm, I'm respectful, okay, but I will be respectful, now listen, listen now, I have to fix it. You barefoot walking on rocks and dirt outside on the ground. Hanging up dirty laundry on a line when there's a dirt storm. Sleeping on the floor when your walls cracking up. Could be some fucking, um, what's that shit they check for? That, um, radon. Could be, or lead poison. That's the motherfucker right there. Lead poison. Listen up, you lead poison motherfuckers. Because I know I got a lot of you motherfuckers around me. You see. We are freaks. We poor. We don't like to get So, as leader around here, y'all got to listen to what the fuck I tell you. Because I'm your buddy. I give a fuck about you. Now listen up, all you lead poison motherfuckers. This is the reason they don't give a fuck about us, right? Because it's your fault. Because y'all think it's so fucking hard to realize that brown water is not clean water. And that fucking irritates me. That fucking gets to me. When the water is brown, you don't wash your clothes out, all right? I don't give a fuck what National Geographic say to you, man, to get money, get pebbles. Y'all ain't got money, so it's pebbles. I don't know what the Manchester Geographic say to you to get pebbles off of your shit. But it's wrong. When the water is brown, you don't wash your clothes in it. Okay, you don't stoop down in the Mississippi River like you... F Let me shut up. That's the shit like that is the reason why. You know what else the reason why? Because when it's dinner time, you're digging in each other fucking plates with your fingers and shit. That's another fucking reason why. And that's the reason why they read the name Rashid. And they don't want to see nothing the fuck I got to say or do. Because you motherfuckers. And I'm blaming all you motherfuckers. You saying motherfuckers. You fucking crack wall, blue wall motherfuckers. I'm talking to you. you no know, door motherfuckers. Flintstone house motherfuckers, man. Don't need a front door. And shit like that, dude. That's the reason why they treat me. They look at my fucking army team theater Rashid shit. And say, fuck no, I don't want to see nothing he can do. Because we know he one of them motherfuckers. And that's the reason why they don't give a fuck about us around here. Because of you bastards. You roach-loving son of a bitches. And that's the reason why. Then you got to go serve some guy named Allah in my fucking face. And be scared of me. And all this shit pissing me off. Like, I like gonna give a fuck about a sand motherfucker bowing down in front of dirt serving him and shit. And then he's it's probably getting to him. It's probably getting to Elijah the Prophet. See him, seeing your fucking ass bowing down in the dirt in front of him. He like, is this one all I'm worth? 
these bear, these motherfuckers with bears balling on me on dirt. This, that's what I'm probably thinking. So you better, you better think about that shit before you hate me. Muslim motherfuckers, man. Better think about that. Because he's probably looking down going, no, no, they ain't bowing down on me in no fucking oil spill. And shit like that. He probably saying that. You don't know. So don't come. This is the reason why they. Oh, man. How am I going to let you fucking Jews see the truth around here? I mean, all your foreign mother, green card motherfuckers, man. I swear to God, you get to me. You get to me. This is our house around here. And I'm leading. And I'm telling you, I'm arguing that you as a friend on stage, arguing because I'm sick and tired of you fuckers around here. Sand, eating sand burgers and ketchup sandwiches and shit. And all this bullshit. I'm tired of you complaining that you poor and bed bugs biting your fucking ass so fucking hard off they up your ass crack and bite you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did y'all read the hotel's got big bugs? <laughs> hotel's got big bugs. <laughs> they had they guys, they guys. They had this clip on Fox News. It was Fox or because I get my shit from the mirror also. <laughs> but anyway, they had this clip of this woman got on Amtrak. <laughs> she had her bag was full of bear bugs. I swear to God, they show footage. The guy was like, this. "Oh my goodness, stand back! Oh my goodness, they had a flashlight. There's bear bugs all on her fucking shit." And she find the Amtrak. <laughs> <laughs> if any of y'all know, now listen, this is Rachi hanging out with y'all. If any of y'all know, beer bugs are, they are, they are a special insect. You can't get rid of them <laughs> for some reason. They like, they go on the plague and shit. Beer bugs, yeah, they, there's something symbolic about them because they indestructible. There's something wrong with them. They not ordinary bugs, there. They sent from something spiritual. I don't know, but they, um... Man can't do a fucking thing with them. I mean, man, man try everything in a book and still can't get rid of them motherfuckers. And that's unheard of. The cockroaches shocked. I know cockroaches like, what the fuck? But uh, these the cockroaches, man, bed bugs are the king of bugs, dude. That man cannot do nothing with. I swear, once you get them, you might as well either throw all your shit away or move. That's your only option. I'm not laughing. And when you move, you got to get all new clothes and they, they some indestructible motherfuckers, dude. You want to be glad people ain't like that big bugs. Then it'd be a fucking issue. Man, I'm serious. They such a pain in the ass, man. They are, they are beyond a pain in the ass. It's not even funny, dude. It's like those bugs there was created for man's destruction and no biker stop, stop yeah let me stop talking about yeah we had them that's how i know because we had them in the last place i um i lived that we had it and uh, i went on the air and i was talking about a little bit i think i did but it was a big problem for me i finally beat them though i finally beat them yeah well she we did you know i, I hooked this up i beat them a lot of people don't know how to do it you gotta wrap your mattress up in a, in a plastic in trash bag and um when you do that you gotta even out your mattress you got bed bugs this how you this how you will get peace from it you hold your mattress up you get some trash bag and you hold the trash bag up to your mattress and you cut along the seam so it fit on top of your mattress now here's the trick you gotta have either duct tape or a packaging tape and when you cut it you gotta tape it back together so the plastic fits your mattress perfectly you see, and when the, the, the pieces that's cut, that's open, you got to put another trash bag on top of it and tape it so tight. You got to make sure that there's no, like, tunnels on the tape. Make sure the tape is flat. Do your whole mattress that way, and you're free from bed bugs. They can't get by plastic. You know, you got to cover your bed with plastic. Now, that's a Sardisian way of, of getting beating a bed up. Bed you got to use trash bags. And, and all you need is trash bags and packaging tape. And even when you cut the, when you place the bag on your bed, 
Make sure it stays even so when you take the creases, the edges, there's no tunnels to think of climb through. And then you're free from bed bugs. You're free from them. Yeah, and that's something we sharing with y'all. So, you know, there's a Sardixian way of uh, dealing with bed bugs. They should just come out with bed covers if you got bed bugs. They should have some kind of, you could go to the store, Walmart or something, and have these beds, these plastic things you put over your mattress and zip it up. And uh, that's, that's the bed bug problem is right there. It'll be over with. It'll be over with. But the thing about that is, when you if you do that, it holds air in it. So when you get up from it, it may be all stuck to the bed. But after a while, when you go back to lay down, when you get up, the air is pressure. And it, and it could push a tape out of the seam. You see what I mean? So even if stores did sell something like that, they would have have to have like little holes on the side so the air could come out. Well, if you got little holes on the side, the baby bus could climb through. So would you believe that when it's time for your fat ass to lay down, you got to go easy. Do it just, just wait till it all go down. Nice. Every night you got to do that. You can't just go lay flop on a bed too. You can't do it. You just can't do it because you'll fuck it up. And I said, you know, if you fuck it up, all you do is go back and fix it, you know. But every night when you lay down, you sit on your bed, you see your mattress go full of air. You got to wait till it all simmer out and then slowly lay down and spread your legs out. Then you can get out of bed and walk around and put on your night stuff and stuff. But first, you got to do that like every night. Because you can't just go flop down because you'll fuck it up. And then baby bus will climb through the tape. So... That's the way you got to do Or you can save all the shit and just go get a new mattress. You know? And, um, man, that's it. But, um, they're a pain in the ass, man. So we did the trash bag thing, and that's how we got through. And, uh, the trash bag, very I didn't notice how comfortable it was on your bed, too, with a sheet on top of it, blanket on top of it. Man, you squiggling around so easy. Better than that fucking mattress shit. Like you got some kind of silk shit on your damn baby. It feels good as hell. <coughs> <coughs> so I just showed y'all on how to get rid of the bed bugs. And just in case you got, you just need some trash bags, package of tape, duct tape, and scissors. And just even that shit out and and put the the bags over your bed, all over. Don't leave no openings. Yeah, that shit end your bed bug problem. Now for chairs and shit like that, I don't know. But if you can find a plastic cover for them, that will save your chairs. But you need a plastic cover. Because bed bugs can't get by plastic. They can get through anything else. They can't yeah, they can't get by no plastic. They can't get by plastic guys. So that's just something I share with y'all little Rashid thing. Cause you know, we saw DTs around here. We do things different. Rashid do things different. I try to go primitive with a lot of my things and I try to do things with just my two hands that's just what I do on my RVT I use I do a lot of artwork y'all see my artwork on my Google page and everything so every so it spills over into into my livelihood you know when I'm living my life and all and I like to do things with my hand I like to make homemade curtains like right now I don't have no real curtains in my damn house I made all these curtains with a blanket or sheet or something like that because if they if they don't the, the curtains that I like they don't sell in the stores you see I may see I may look at a sheet and say that's what kind of curtain I want but you will never I okay, can't find a sheet you know different sheets different kind of styles you know they don't give a fuck about curtains that much to put a lot of styles and curtains or just something to hang over your window and there's nothing like that but you'll see them in sheets so I take the sheets and I make the sheets out of curtains you see I make the sheets out of curtains and, and stuff like that. I'm a very primitive guy. I'm a very, very primitive guy. Um, but um, that's how I learned about the, putting the plastic on the bed bug thing. Because I said, I'm going to beat these motherfuckers here. I'm going to beat them. Had me about step away about going to the hospital. I thought something was wrong with my skin. The bed bugs would be the last thing that I, I thought that I would get. I mean, I mean the, the last thing. I mean, that's the furthest thing from your mind. And yet you keep itching and itching and your arms start changing colors and shit. I'm like, man, what the hell? I got to go to a um, 
dermatologist or something, but I just found out. Oh, it's bed. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Cause I'm a pretty healthy guy, and I, you know, my skin ain't all that fucking, you know. I just show how the destructiveness of uh, critters and in the summertime it's you know, it's the time they all start coming out, you know, this time of year. You know, the bugs start coming and shit. They they sense dirt and that's why it's important for somebody to keep clean. Because the bugs sense dirt. They'll come up from the ground. They sense they sense by the body soil. You know, body soil. Um, they sense that they eat that shit. They eat the, the the skin. We peel skin off our flesh every day. They eat that shit. So I'm so I don't mean to be gross, but I'm just telling y'all summer's coming up, and y'all want to stay clean, guys. You know, school is about to be over. You want to stay clean because that when you're dirty, it calls bugs to you. So don't be surprised if you're sitting down and you start your hair itching all the time. Are you washing up? So you're attracting them. But if you keep clean, you don't got to worry about your hair itching or your skin itching and shit like that. So you're attracting them from your body soil. So if you get a rash or whatever, a reoccurring rash every year or whatever, just remember that shit. It's very hard. It's very hard to be clean in this world. And I don't know, it's so easy to be every fucking thing else. You know what I'm saying? But it's very hard to be clean in this world. Because as soon as you get clean, you get dirty all over again. You know, as soon as you wash up, you know, you hold that as a fucking trophy and shit. And hope it lasts for a while. And shit, but you got to get dirty. You're going to get dirty again, you know. It's, I know it's, it's a pain in the ass taking care of yourself. It's work. In other words, it's work. But if you keep doing it, it becomes habitual. It becomes a habit. And you won't think about it as much. You'll just naturally do it. This goes for washing your sheets, washing your pillow uh, covers, washing your clothes. You know, the summer is coming, guys. The hot weather is just around the corner. So we hope. So, you know, this weather acting stupid, but it's right around the corner. So you don't want to attract the wrong shit to you. Because you're not washing on your hygiene is bad, especially if you're especially if you're on social media all the time. You caked up in one place, and that every day in this hot weather. And sure, you may got air conditioner, but outside is hot. And they sit. They, they what they gonna turn away because you're in air conditioner? If you're a dirty ass in air, they sense that, and they will find a way to get on your ass. That's what they do. And some flies and all that shit do. So, like, it's certain reason. It's certain. I got reason to believe that everything they say about things aren't real, aren't true. I'll give you this. I'll give you an example. They say flies are the most disgusting insects. If they, if they, could they, you know, they piss me off. They say flies. Um, spiders are not an insect. Spiders are called anthropology, whatever the fuck. They insects. They say flies are the worst one because a fly lands on poop and it goes and land on something else and then goes and lands. So flies are the worst. I disagree with that. Flies are one of the cleanest insects there are. One of the cleanest insects there are is a fly. I don't think a fly is the dirtiest insect. If you look at a fly, Right, sweetie. You'll always see the fly rubbing his hands together. And rubbing his wing. He the fly constantly does that over it's like he's washing his hands if you stare at a fly. He'll sit there for a few seconds and then all of a sudden he'll start putting his hands together watching. Why do you think he's doing that? He's cleaning himself. He's he's cleaning himself for the next flight. So when he land when the fly lands on that, whatever it is. It's a different kind of whatever. Then he'll leave that. They don't go fly to the, too much dirt on them will prevent them from being a fly. They can't fly around and stuff. So they constantly cleaning themselves every time they land on something. Because if they land here, and this came from me watching flies, guys. 
I'm not gonna see him. I ain't read this from no book. This is Rashid's thinking. When a fly leaves something, it rarely goes right away and step on something else. Now I'm not talking about the common thing like a table or a chair. I'm talking about some gook or whatever. But even so, wherever he lands, if you stare at it for a while, you'll see him all of a sudden rub his fucking uh, legs together, then his back legs, then his face. He got to keep doing that because if not, everywhere he land, the dirt will pile up and the fly will be one ball of dirt. Can't move, can't fly, can't do nothing. So flies constantly cleaning themselves. But yet, people say flies are the worst dirtiest things and I disagree with that because of that and this goes for gnats and everything too they all rub they they and they um tentacles and legs together all the time staying clean because they land a lot of places and if they didn't do that the dirt will pile up and it will probably kill the beetle bug or whatever so insects aren't really dirty guys not per se they do clean flies do cleaning so constantly all you gotta do is stare at one and you'll see it so they can't be, you know, of course they dirty, they bugs, but y'all get the point. So I don't really listen. See, I'm very primitive. See, I got to take my own knowledge and run with that and add it to my normal life of living an American a person or, you know, just living of Rashid in general, just me living. I got to take the knowledge that I have and put it with just normal like Rashid living, you know, American shit, whatever. So. I just thought I'd come on and share some of that with you guys, you know? I just thought I'd come on and share it with you. Because I'm always, um, always something to learn, you know what I mean? It's always, guys, if you just pay attention, it's always fucking something to learn. Well, so <coughs> I'm chewing some gum. So what time is it? Maybe I talk. I don't know. I'm about to check the time now. I think y'all had enough of Rashid. Mm-hmm. Got three minutes. Let me go head out. I'm gonna upload this so we have something to look at. Yeah, and um, the next couple of days we're going to hang out and have some fun. Well, I got some shows. I got some good stories. Tomorrow should be an interesting show. I found some things around the internet we're going to talk about. Should be a good show. Yeah. That will be a good show tomorrow, baby. I'm going to enjoy that. But next week I have the animation thing coming up. Hopefully. Hopefully. If I'm going to get to work on it right away. I gotta, like I said, I got to go to food shopping this week. You know, I just went to the store today and got some things, but I'm going to go next week. I'm going to go really go next week. <laughs> and I got to um, get there a different way, you know. Oh, my God, man. Mm -mm. Everybody got problems, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got problems. But you got to remember, if we don't, If we don't find out why we have these problems, we always gonna have problems. Most of the time, nine times out of ten, we got problems because of somebody else. It's rare that we have a problem that's somebody that we did ourselves. They say like they ask us, "What's wrong with us?" It's rare that we say, "Oh, I did this or I did that." No, it's all because somebody else. You know what I mean? We got to deal with these assholes every day of our life. We got to deal with these assholes, man. And it's so hard, you know. I'm trying to convey, in my case, I'm trying to convey people not to be jealous of me. I open up my hand in friendships to, to so many people. And all they did was just shit on me. I don't know what's wrong with them. Or it's YouTube thing. That's why I don't fuck with nobody, man. And um, it's a shame in the world is like that. It's just jealous fucking shit. You know, it's such a... What a fucking waste, man. You know, we got to think people get along better. You know, but people want to sit on their ass and be jealous of you instead of talking to you. you know, shit like that. <coughs> and this is the things we got to deal with. 
on a day to day basis these things we gotta deal with. But you gotta remember that everybody have their crawl. You know, everybody have a crawl, they have something in they crawl and they display it different ways. So you will be confident that at least you try to be somebody's friend. At least you try. That doesn't make you a bad person. That just makes you a human. A, a very wanting to communicate with somebody. And hopefully they'll communicate back. you just been human. you just been, you know. And because they're ignorant, that's the way they carry they think. And it's, 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 it's a shame. It's two fingers rubbing shame, shame type shit. But if that's the way they are, that's the way they are. You know, just know and just don't bother them. You know, that's the only thing you can do. But it's sad we got to deal with people like that. You know what I'm saying? It's very fucking sad. I don't say no names and I'm never going to say no names. They don't say my name. I ain't saying theirs. So it's not childish. It's just out of respect. So let's just say we live in a world where all this jealousy, you know, everybody jealous of each other. You can't be friends, you can't be cool with nobody because of um, this envious shit. And just be yourself, man. And let them be like that. Let them be like that. But um, that's not business, you know what I mean? That's not um, That's not how you're going to get, if they want to get to Hollywood, that's not how you're going to get to Hollywood. I don't want to get to Hollywood. I don't want to get to Hollywood. So they don't want to try to get to Hollywood. I'm not trying to get to Hollywood. I really don't care. Because I've been there already. I've been there already. I'm just doing this for kicks. You know what I mean? I'm 47 years old, man. I ain't looking for no fucking shit. The only thing I'm looking for is my, the next blowjob, dude. I ain't going to fucking sit here and lie to y'all. I'm a big, nasty motherfucker. And the, last, and the next thing I'm looking for is the next blowjob at my age. And I ain't trying to bust my ass and do a fucking thing, dude. I'm not. Because nobody going to give a fuck about it anyway. I ain't black. I ain't white. They going to give a fuck about it. So I'm not going to bust my ass and do nothing. So at my age... Going into this senior citizen bullshit, I'm looking for the next blowjob. Everything else can kiss my ass. I really don't care. I'm 47. I'm halfway in. So I don't give a shit. That's how I just got to go out on my... I'd rather be a big child than being all that business shit. I'm not going to spend... I gave... I gave all the business shit half my life. I'm gonna give my whole life to being serious. Damn, how long was I a Christian? How long did I start my own business? I mean, I was serious and business, corporate, and all that shit. But um, when do I get to be myself before this is all over for me? I can't like cartoons. I can't like comics. I can't like the toys that I want. Why not? All because of my age. Says who? If it wasn't for people like me, there would be none of that bullshit. I'm not going to spend my whole fucking life being serious, dude. Jesus, I gave it half my life since I was a kid. I was, I was married, holding my own business and married and everything. That's all serious shit. I was all that serious shit, dude. When do I get to just hang out, just be a fucking, you know, just living shit? When do I get to do that? I'm going to spend my whole life being serious? No, I don't think so. When you that way, you miss out on shit. You miss out on this. I ain't missing out on the rest all my fucking life being serious. Damn, it's time for me to say fuck you the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that level, guys. I'm on that level. It's time it's time that I say fuck you, dollar bill. I, I want to be happy. I want to do shit to make me happy. Fuck that, man. I'm not spending my whole life being serious, guys. I'm not going to do it. Man. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I gave it up. I ain't never going back to it, man. rest of my life, I'll obey laws, pay my bill, stay out of trouble, and do what the fuck I want to do. That's it. That's what it's all about, man. But I'm not spending my whole life being serious, man. I'm not going to do it. My whole fucking life? No. You got half my life. School, religion, half my life, marriage, all that shit. Well, now it's time for me just to live. How about that? 
I ain't say nothing about all that partying and shit. I do that by myself. I ain't said all that partying and have fun. It's time for me to say fuck you the money. I want to do, when you partying and having fun, you're still not being yourself, man. When you go to these fucking parties or have fun or whatever, you're around people. You got to still pretend. It's not who you are. All right, I want to be myself, man. I'm not going to give my whole life being serious. I'm not going to do it. I want to be myself. I'm not going to fucking... This It's really complicated, man. It's in my... It's in my, um... My cult thing, guys. It's very complicated, but... I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it, dude. I'm going to just be myself, man. I ain't got to walk this train game, you know. There's no laws to say I got to walk the train game. And that's... This is my decision. I just want to be myself, that's a, I'm not going to give my whole life pretending and shit, pretending like people like me and shit. I'm only, I know this person don't like me, but I'm dealing with them anyway because I don't want to be alone and all this shit. I've been through all that shit. I'm not doing none of it no more, man. If I got to be alone, that's the way God meant it to be for me to be alone. Whatever come my way from now on, it's what I know that it's going to meant. It's going to be the real deal. It's not going to be because I kissed somebody ass or because I bought somebody that. I made a decision in my life. Everything that comes in my life is going to be the real 100% deal. That's what we go down around here. Every fucking thing, dude, that comes into my fucking life, dude, is going to be the real deal. It ain't going to be because, oh, I did this or oh, I treated this person this way. No, I had enough of that bullshit. I had enough of it. I'm living my life, man. I'm living my damn life. Dude. I'm not. I'm 47. I see what's in front of me. I'm not fucking around with this shit here. I'm trying to make my stuff, make me something here that I know I'm gonna benefit from. You know, I'm gonna make me something, which I did. Y'all enjoying it now? And I have some other things also. You know, so I'm straightening my life out now. Dude. I'm not going to wait, you know, I'm 47, I see this right there. And part of making myself over, I got to question my surroundings, who I'm dealing with, who these people who holding me back, putting negativity all up my ass 24 hours a day and shit, negative, negative, negative all around me. I got to get rid of these things. And this one's thing of sacrifice. Sacrifice means something happened that you, that you got to offer up your something or something that's very uncomfortable. In a case like this, I'm offering, I got to offer up myself because I realize that I'm going to be by myself if I do this. If I make this decision, I'm going to be by myself. Nobody going to want to be around me. If I make that decision, I'm going to be by myself. I, I had the second day. That's a sacrifice I got to take. But I'm not going to have this negative shit all around me all the time. I'm not going to do it. I know I'm somebody. I know what I'm capable of. I don't need nobody making me feel either eye. And if it's going to take me sacrificing, being having company around and all that shit and being liked, then motherfuck it then. I don't want that. I came in this world by myself and I'm going to leave this motherfucker by myself, dude. It's that fucking simple. And that's just the way I'm going out and shit. I'm just, I just had enough of everything. I'm not putting up with this bullshit no more. You hate me? Good. Fuck you, man. Fuck your embryo that you came in this earth on. I'm on that fucking tip. I'm not going to get too baby. I'm not going to get too crazy because I know I'm a celebrity and all this shit. But I'm saying, I'm being myself, man. I'm being my goddamn self. Now, that's, that's, and being yourself is knowing when to talk and when not to talk. No doubt about it. I'm not saying it don't. It, 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 it denotes you knowing when to talk and when to open your mouth and when not. And when, yeah. The fuck. Let me get some on this So I know what to say to people and what not to say to people. You know, I do. I know what to say to people and what not to say to people. You know, I just say that. I'm trying to fix this fucking thing. So. Uh. If you got a problem with me, leave. It's that simple. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not playing the human game anymore. And that's what y'all experiencing with Rashid. I'm not doing it no more. 
I want to be my fucking self. I want to love who I want to love. I don't if you don't like it, don't be my friend. Go somewhere else, dude. That's just the way it is around here. I do what I want to do. Don't tell me somebody's bad. Let me see that they're bad. Then I'll decide if they're bad. I'm on that tip around here. And that's what all of you fucking see, dude. That's what all of you guys see. I'm not playing this human game no more. I'm not doing it. I'm going to use all my fucking life being serious, dude. My whole fucking shit. Nah, nah. I, don't, I ain't doing it. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm liking what I want to like, dude. If you don't like it, leave. Bye. Unsubscribe. I don't care. Sick of this stupid shit. We got to get all the time. They laughing because we live in this shit. Rich or poor. We live in this shit. Somebody fucking laughing. I ain't doing it no more. This is something that I can do. And that's it. I'm getting some people who's, who's with the same fucking shit. We not doing it anymore. Liking these people because we got to like them and like, no, that's enough of this bullshit. All I'm doing is making myself miserable. You got to take a stand for yourself, man. Got to be putting up with this shit we don't like. No, 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 not around here. Not around here, dude, man. Not around here, man. That shit ain't around here, man. I ain't fucking doing it no more, man. I'm tired. Forty fucking seven years old, and I'm still in front of people like I'm somebody, dude. I ain't nobody. I'm just a person standing here. I ain't nobody, dude. I'm only somebody to the to the Lord. That's it. I ain't doing it no fucking more, dude. I'm not doing it no more. I gave up. I'd rather do my shit and be who I want to be. You know? And do the things that make me happy and pleased. But I'm not going to sit back and play that human game and shit. I gotta like this and gotta like that because people will think this and what will the neighbors think this and all. I, I'm out of that shit. I ain't never going back to it, dude. And I'm gonna be this way till I hit the fucking grave. I had enough for this shit. I ain't doing it no fucking more. I'm liking what I wanna like, and that's it. When do I get to live my fucking life? <coughs> you know? When I get to live my fucking life. Shit. And I just gotta be serious all around and shit. I know how to be an adult. You don't have to tell me how to be an adult. I'm an adult. Yeah, don't tell me what I should do. I already know how to do this adult shit. Anything happens on me. I'm taking full responsibility. Anything happens on me. I take full, but don't tell me shit, man. How you gonna tell me shit and then go in your fucking house and start crying because you hate your life? Oh, dickhead fucking but stupid ass shit. I ain't going through that shit no more. Are you gonna give me advice? Then gonna go home and start crying because your life fucked up. No, get the fuck out of my damn face, dude. I'll be good. It ain't funny. I'll cry about my fucking stuff. How you gonna give me advice when I know you got problems? That's stupid ass shit. I'm not supposed to listen to you and shit. Like you pop a smurf. Man, kiss my ass. You just as stupid as a duck fuck. I'm seeing your fucking problems and I'm going to look at you because you somebody. Man, go ahead some fucking way. So, we on a crusade around here. And we're searching for something and we hope we find it. But that's spiritual. I'm not going to even bother you. I have that spiritual talk coming up also, guys. It's just I keep getting hit with shit. Every time I get done started with so I get hit you know I get hit so 
So don't worry about it. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have it up soon so we can enjoy that. Let me get the hell out of here because I think I talked your ear off. I think that's enough. I have a show for us tomorrow. We're going to look at some things I found on the internet. And I apologize if I got too rowdy. Um, I just got to express myself. That's what I told y'all before. Y'all guys are helping me out because y'all are my psychiatrists. Y'all don't, don't know how I look. All y'all hear is my voice. Y'all... And this is really, really helping me, guys. This is really helping me, just getting it out. It really is helping me, guys. Because, I, you know, I want somebody to talk to. I want to just get this shit out, man, you know. And the thing about it is, I have this, I have my group. I'm a father. I'm the leader of these people. We, we talk on a different level, dude. I can't talk like this. You know, to these guys, not per se, because they always have an answer, because they're my cult followers. They always have an answer for it. But to you guys, to actually see the world in such a state, I could talk to you fuckers and shit. I could try to reach you fuckers, even if you don't like me. I could try to reach you, because somebody needs to do did that shit to you a long time ago. You fucking know it. We all caught that shit. We all fucking caught that shit. It's rare that you will find a family where the father is not a drunk. I mean, it is fucking rare, dude. Oh, every fucking story, my dad drank and beat my mother. Every other fucking person is like that. That's what I'm talking about. Open your fucking eyes. We all caught it. We all fucking caught it, man. All of us caught it. Rich, poor, black, white, whoever. We caught it. So there's no fucking reason for you to think you better than some fucking body. That's all my argument is about. Your shit ain't together. So how the fuck you better than me? Your shit is not together, dude. Would you go and buy this book? Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and go. Because I'm doing. Yeah. Let me go ahead and go. Because I'm getting too crazy on here. Smoking this shit. And I'm talking. Guys. Tomorrow I have a show for us. Okay. Be here tomorrow. So we can talk. We can really have fun with shit. And you ain't got to worry about listening to why she talk about this shit. Because I get too real with stuff. You know, I do. I, I, that's the, I, I just give a fuck. Okay? I give a fuck. And that's fucked up because y'all don't y'all don't see what y'all with who y'all listening to. And that's fucking funny in my eyes. Y'all don't actually see who y'all 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 actually listen to somebody. Y'all listening to somebody who will be your best fucking friend and who can change your fucking life. And most important, y'all listening to somebody who gives a fuck. And y'all fuckers, and that's the, here's the kicker to the story. Y'all fuckers don't even know it. See y'all later, man.